Hello, I am the mission analysis responsible for this flight. This means that I have to ensure that the flight respects the customer and the French law requirements in terms of trajectory, performance, separation and safety. For its 15th launch, Vega will put into a sun-synchronous orbit at an altitude of around 600 km the satellite Falcon I-1. The required performance for this mission is a little bit less than 1200 kg for a total launch vehicle mass at liftoff of about 138 tons. At age zero, which will occur at 22 hours, 53 minutes and 3 seconds in crew local time, the first stage P80 will be ignited. With a thrust of more than 2200 kN, it will allow the launcher to take off. The flight of the three solid boosters, P80, Defiro 23 and Defiro 9, will last around 6 minutes. This part of the flight will be followed by the standard North Ground Tracking Station network, Galio and Saint-Jean in French Guyana, Bermuda and Saint-Hubert in Canada. Then the Vega upper stage, the Avum, will be ignited for 8 minutes in order to inject the launcher into an elliptical transfer orbit. After a long ballistic phase of 38 minutes, a second Avum boost for 1 minute of a new Norcia ground station will allow to circularize the orbit. Once the targeted orbit will be reached, Falcon I-1 will be released 57 minutes after the liftoff. Then, the launcher mission is not over. After another long ballistic phase of 54 minutes, the upper stage shall be deorbited thanks to a third Avum boost of 58 seconds and then passivated. This operation will take place once again over Bermuda and Saint-Hubert ground stations.